Here to save the day, our puppy expert, Stephanie Bennett from Believe in Dog Training. And it's a playtime <laughs> Look at this, Studio these B. two, and Tex is totally sitting here watching and judging. <laughs> and you know, this is a real thing, Stephanie, because sometimes you hear these dog owners say, oh my gosh, every time UPS comes with a package, my dog freaks out. Or every time they see, I don't know, a white person, they freak out. Yeah. Socialize the dog early on, you say within the first four months. Yes, within the first four months, as much as possible, because that is the critical socialization period. After that, it's over, it's actually over. It's, it's interesting, but at four and a half months old, they become teenagers. Over meaning too late. Yeah, well, not too late, it's just that the most critical time is before four months. And Oh, go ahead. That's okay. We just want to do as much as we can before then. And, okay, so we've got to just draw our attention here. This is Ollie and Buffy. Yes. They are being total puppies. <laughs> but talk to me about what is happening here. This is normal puppy behavior. It is. It is. And so, you know, like we said, if I, if I feel like it's getting over the line, I'll stop it. But this is normal. So what puppies do when they play, they are just wrestling and biting each other the whole time. And that is normal puppy play, for sure. And they're getting used to each other, and they're teaching each other things, actually. Even though we can't see it as much, they are teaching each other things like bite inhibition, what's appropriate, all that stuff. And if I put Tex in there, he would also ear. teach them some things. <laughs> oh, that's good. They yes. can learn from our you little Tex man. You bet. Okay, so when it comes to, like we mentioned, someone delivering a package or someone on a skateboard or someone wearing a hat, you say it's critical within the first few months, introduce your puppy to at least 100 people. That's a goal. That's a goal. That's what we yeah. want to do. Because if you do that, you have introduced them to every kind of person a possible, right? So every single color, shape, size, age, wearing toddlers. Wearing a hat, not wearing yes, a hat. People People carrying things, people wearing things, people on wheels, you know, skateboards, bikes, wheelchairs, all of those things. We live in an urban jungle. Yeah. And so we see all these kinds of things. So if you can introduce them to 100 different people, wow, you have really knocked it out and you've gotten them used to so many different things. And you say also to introduce them to other animals as well. Yes, Be social yes. with other animals. That's right. And so what you want to do is you want to find, you want to have um, other dogs, especially that you know are safe, that are vaccinated, that are healthy, all of those kinds of things. You, what you really want to do when they're when they're babies and if they're not fully vaccinated yet is you need to avoid any especially grassy areas or any place that other dogs or puppies that you don't know there's a lot of pooping and peeing going oh, on. Oh okay. And you want to stay away from those places but puppy class is one of the best things you can do you just have to find a really good puppy class and one that's using the right disinfectant one that is requiring um, a set of vaccinations and things like that where it's done correctly so that you're keeping them safe but you got to get them socialized fast. That's a great tip because a lot of puppy owners may say oh he's still a puppy he can't go any Anywhere. You yeah. say take them everywhere that's appropriate. Let's talk about restaurants, bars, crowded areas, yeah. places where they may encounter loud noises that they need to become accustomed to. Yes. So, I, like I said, we live in an urban jungle. So there's ambulances, there's garbage trucks, there's, you know, not only crowds of people, all of those kinds of things we must get them used to because if we don't, if we keep them in our house and we get, take them out at four and a half months old, wow, that's a, lot, that's a late time to be introducing them to those things. The one point that we should make is that it should always be positive. Socialization is about exposing them to these things, but in a po it has to be in a positive way. And one of the best ways to make it positive is to associate it with something delicious. Deliciousness. Big deliciousness. Oh, Hot dogs, Lord. cheese, chicken, teeny tiny pieces, you know. But that makes it continue to be happy. And so taking them to those kinds of situations is good, but we just have to make sure that we're not overwhelming them mm -hmm. also if it's a big crowd. Okay. You know? And Stephanie, what's your take on sort of like puppy camp or dog camp? You know, and if you're working all day and kind of getting that <laughs> socialization like what these two are doing. Yes, yes. You like that? I love it. Watching them. Well, I know, it's so fun. One of our producers is trying to get their attention. I'm like, girl, don't even bother. This is like, this is part of, no one's listening to what we're saying. That's They're right. just looking at them. Forget Look it. at this. It's so world. cute. Oh my God. They're just having a blast. It's so fun. Tex is totally it's... like judging. Yeah, he really is. He's like, uh, He's I'm like older animals. now and you're uh, really look obnoxious. Look at these babies. Yeah, look at the uh, 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 immature babies. Um, I think that they can be, uh, they would be very very good things, but it should be whatever you pick. They should, if you're doing it for the puppy, it should be the program should be based for puppies, not just regular dog daycare or you know for adult dogs. It should, if you're going to pick a program that's going to be a day program, right? It should be something that's designed especially for puppies because they have special needs. It's a whole different thing than having an adult dog. So potty training, crate training, socialization, making sure it's all positive, all those kinds of things. That's a it's a very specific kind of a program. We have an ear and a mouth over here just a second ago. Yes, <laughs> 
so funny. And hair dryers, appliances, loud noises at home, expose your puppy to all of that. All of those things. Anything your puppy, your adult dog is going to need to be used to, start exposing your puppy to it immediately with delicious things. Now, one thing that also should be said is, like I said, you cannot force or rush it. No forcing, no rushing. Um, if your puppy is a little bit shy or a little bit overwhelmed, take them out of the, uh, the situation, back up, start over, uh, something delicious, but take it slow. Don't force it. Okay. Stephanie, thank great you advice. so much. Always great to see <laughs> thank you. you guys Always so a much. hoot. Also, to connect with Stephanie, check out the scene on Houston Life section of our website. She's the person in charge of our text man here. She so, sure is. doing a great job. Oh, don't you wish you had the energy of a puppy? Oh. Like, fascinating <laughs> to watch.